example, a special resource for families inside a closet at a local middle school. Students and staff are working together to supply food and clothes for anyone who needs them. Levin is here with how this all got started. What a great program. It's a fantastic program. You know, it started just as a way to give back to the community, collecting items for people in need, but it has blossomed into something more. Principal Coyley and the great staff in Woburn saw a need and they saw it in-house. So as the saying goes, if you build it, they will come. It's a great resource for students and families in need at Daniel Joyce Middle School. With COVID, we realized how important it was and how in our community in Woburn, the need for the food and the clothing. For the fourth consecutive year, the Joyce Exchange is open for business. This is a quote unquote closet in the school that provides food, toiletries, clothing and footwear. And it's been doing so since 2020. This year has been very popular. We've had a lot of kids come down here. Um, we've probably had to fill the racks a couple of different times so far this year. The struggle with food and clothing insecurity is tough among young adolescents. They need to feel welcomed when getting help. We kind of sell it like, sure. hey, we're going to go shopping. Let's go check out all this fun stuff. And they come down and they're so happy and they're like, oh, I can take this. I'm mm -hmm. like, yeah, it's yours. If you like it, you want it, put it in the bag and take it home. And it's not only the teachers and guidance counselors that are taking part. The students are helping as well. I'm so incredibly proud of my eighth grade students. It started with lessons on food and clothing insecurity and they we're very excited to get in here and beautify the space. It's a perfect place for help at a time of giving. I think it's important that, that the kids feel safe coming in here, that they have trusted adults that they know want to help them. We want to help our community and make sure that kids come to school feeling proud of what they're wearing and that they have um, some extra food on the table. Now they're always helping the community at Daniel Jewish Middle School. On November 14th, they have a free coats and fun family event. The school has collected over 200 coats, and they're going to distribute the coats to any of the Joyce families in need. That event is from 4 to 6, and again, that's on the 14th, and it's the best way to make sure that the kids, sometimes kids feel insecure and they don't want to go to school. Mm -hmm. Well, if they can feel secure in school, then they'll always come to school. You think about food insecurity, but you never think about clothing, clothing yes. insecurity for kids, which Absolutely. is so important. Yeah, hygiene insecurity all the time. And you got to show up looking fly. Exactly. That's what it's all about.